All right, y'all. We're going to enjoy the retro world. Today, I'm going to answer a question a lot of y'all ask me. And that is, out of all my televisions, professional monitors, CRT monitors, VGA, you know, computer monitors, or other televisions like the other Panasonic to the right with the VCR built in, out of all these televisions and monitors, what is my favorite to game on when I'm gaming my retro gaming? And that is from PlayStation 3 on down, y'all. That includes all those systems. So today we're going to answer that. But first, I want to go ahead and go over a little bit about each monitor. And then I'll let you know which one's my favorite. So on the left, we're going to start with the Toshiba 36A43. This is a commercial TV that anybody could have went and bought it back in the day off of the shelf. Like if you went into Blockbuster, not Blockbuster, but Best Buy or Circuit City, wherever, and just picked it out from the you know their selection take it home and then just start using the heck out of it now toshiba had two lines they had the regular a line which was their lower price but still very high quality television or and then they went to the upgraded one which was the af models those were really really nice they came with a little more features and stuff, a little more better quality, some people say. But I've never owned one. I've only owned these, this actual 36A model and the previous 32 model. Now, that 32-inch looked just as beautiful. It, it, it was just great. The only reason I got rid of it was because at the time I had so much space, so I got rid of it. I regretted it. And then all of a sudden, boom, this one came into my life. And so I got it from the trash, I rescued it, the guy put it in my car, and I brought it home. I did a video about restoring it because it was out in the rain and dirty and just filthy. And so yeah, I, I did a little video for it, you know, put it in the link in the description. And it's a, just a commercial TV, so it, it doesn't have all the TV lines that you would expect from... Um, like a professional video monitor or a broadcasting video monitor. And I do have one of those down here to compare it to. So we're, we're, we're doing a fair comparison because I basically have every type of CRT that you could possibly have around that same period of time and technology wise. And that is, I have a CRT monitor for that the professional, you know, broadcasting people used in the newsroom or whatever while they were saying cut to camera two cut to camera three you know zoom in on this all the monitors that you see on the wall that is what i have down there and mine is the ikigami tm 2090 rh and these ikigamis broadcast they're not a broadcast and video monitor because that's that's for a sony that's what they own they own those names to that um Letterings, not every single one, of course. Yes, there are JVC BVMs and all that, but I'm saying most people associate BVMs with Sony's. The Ikigami, they made their line called the Master Line, and they were supposed to be superior to the Sony's and other JVC and other Olympian and all them that were out at that time uh, monitors. And this one only does 240p and 480i, but it does it very, very beautifully. Now, you're looking at it saying, well, the color looks kind of gray. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. The monitor has like a gray tinge to the uh, phosphorus, you know, the tube. And if you look over to the left of the Toshiba, man, look how dark and black that is. That, that, that is just insane, the blacks. And a lot of people think that you have to have a super high-end, you know, television or monitor to get beautiful blacks like that. You really don't. Um, even if I turn the brightness down on the Ikigami down here in the bottom, which is this one down here, even if I turn it down, it still won't look the same as the Toshiba does right now. I have to literally turn all these lights off in here and play it in the dark in order to get the full beautiful effect of the thick super scan lines that that monitor does have. And <laughs> I'll do close-ups because it is insane just how thick and sharp the image is uh, it, it, it's, it's amazing how the how a nintendo and a super nintendo look on there even if you play a playstation 3 with a blu-ray through component cables 
it's it's just so beautiful it's so sharp it looks like an hd monitor a modern modern monitor it's so so beautiful the way it works but for right now the way the camera the lighting is it doesn't look as good as that toshiba to the left but trust me it is it is a beautiful monitor it's only 20 inches that's one of the things that i don't like about it is that it is 20 inches but it is rare to the fact that because it is 20 inches those are very hard to find monitors that size are very expensive i got lucky to buy this one for four hundred dollars i got it on facebook the guy had another monitor and when i seen this one it was brand new looking i saw i said that's the one i want so i took it i got that one instead of a oh, oh jvc so sorry y'all i moved my foot i didn't know the the feet were there sorry about that now on top of that ikigami I do have my Sega Dreamcast hooked up to a CRT VGA monitor and it is feeding it at 480p but that monitor is only 13 and a half inches it is a ViewSonic E655 it's a brand new new old stock from 1999 monitor so it looks you know, the best that it's ever gonna look I will once again I will do a close-up so you can see gameplay of that just to see how beautiful it is because if you've ever played a Sega Dreamcast on a regular TV, I know you tripped out on how good it looks. But when you play it at 480p through a VGA cable to a VGA monitor, you can even use a modern one. It just won't look as good as a CRT VGA monitor. It really won't. CRTs really do blow them away. You, you, you'll be amazed. You'll be like, oh my God, I, I didn't know people were playing like that back in the day. Yeah, yeah. There were some people that had that luxury of playing <laughs> Sega Dreamcast in 480p in all its glory. Yeah, on a CRT monitor. Yeah, the blacks were really, really black. The red was really, really red. Blues and blues, all that good stuff. And those CRT monitors at the back in the day in 99 were, were relatively cheap. Nowadays, you can find them for about 150 to 200 you know, in good condition. I got very lucky. I found mine for 40 bucks. Yeah, just $40 on Facebook again. Facebook came through. And then down here on the right, I have a Panasonic. Uh, I can't remember the model of it. But it's a little 20 inch. It has RF inputs in the back. A single composite input in the front with a mono speaker also input in the front. I use that mainly for my, my Nintendo because it's just perfect for it. It looks great. As you can see, it's a, it doesn't have as dark as a tube as the Toshiba or the Ikigami. It's, it's sort of in between. And uh, it's amazing. Nintendo games look really, really good on it. it it's, it's crazy how good they look. It was like if it was designed and built just for a Nintendo with its two single RCA inputs, you know, coming out the side. One monochrome, mono uh, audio, and then the composite and that's it it's a very clean setup i love playing all type of games on there right now i got double dragon 2 and uh i'll go ahead and show you some beautiful gameplay of that also because all of these sets deserve praise for how beautiful each one look but you want to know what is my favorite what is the one that i go to every single time no matter the system playstation one two three the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, my Wii, everything. And that is the Toshiba 36A43, y'all. You gotta understand, this this thing is a huge beast. Let me let me stand in front of it so you can see just how big it is. I am five foot nine, 256 pounds. Let me get in front of this TV, see how big this TV is compared to me. Shocked me. Oh. Oh, 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 just stand up. Now, this is 20 inch. Yeah, this is awesome, but if I had to sit at a desk, yeah, I would use this with my rolling computer speakers. Take it down, adjust everything, pump it back up, have the controller, the consoles right here. Yeah, this would be a great setup. For every day this will be for that but to play every console this 
this is what I love. This huge girl. I mean, I come over here, get the wireless controller, play some game, get the universal remote, turn it full blast. And I did a video on this too. Hey, go crazy, look. Let me sit down. Let's turn these lights off so you can see the way I see it. <laughs> All right, hold on. <laughs> Let's pause it. All right, y'all. Let's check it out. Supposed to go that way. <laughs> it's not loud enough, y'all. Nintendo with uh, Super R type 240p. Yeah, it still has the slowdown. See how beautiful it is just playing a huge screen compared to the small one. why I love playing on that big huge girl. Let me check that out. That's like it's just insane. It doesn't matter what game I play on there. Let's go try another Super Nintendo game on this big girl and see what she looks like. That's the that's the music from Starwind that you hear. Oh that's just too bright.
me adjust this camera, hold on. All right, y'all, there you go, much better. Now you can see the Ikigami looks just as beautiful as the Toshiba. And that's a, you know, it's a broadcast and video monitor. It's designed to be superior, but my huge girl, it looks darn good. Geometry might be off. Yeah, I can go in the service menu and do all that changing around and mess her all up if I want, but why when she looks good now? Plays good. Look at this. This is like an arcade, man. It's like if I'm at Pizza Hut back in the 90s. Chilling with the homies. Look what you doing, Files? Getting on my locals. Yeah. I oh, mean, you're gonna lose. I thought you're gonna lose. I'm not gonna lose. Look, I'm done to tell my favorite character. Throw you. That's right, baby. Throw you. Yeah, I might as well turn it up. Oh, I can't turn it up. I can't stop playing. Yeah. It won't pause, I forgot. I remember being at Pizza Hut playing this poor player. How did I not just die there? If I had an arcade stick, I'd be like, ugh, ugh. just stupid with it. Alright, Super Nintendo ain't the only console I play on here, man. Let's go check out some PlayStation 2 with it, baby. Let's check that out. Alright, on the PlayStation 2, running some factory component cables. It just looks so beautiful on both my Toshiba and the Ikigami. This is Outrun 2006. This is one of the best racing games you can ever get, y'all. They they did a really good job doing this one. Let's just play this. 
Now, see, I know y'all see that that monitor on the top, that Dreamcast, and it's like, oh my God, that looks so beautiful. We're gonna get to that in a little bit. We're gonna set the camera up and show you how beautiful that is. But I wanted to show you just how awesome my Toshiba is and why I always choose to play is. And I did play the Dreamcast on here with S Video because that was the best quality that you can get from a uh, what is it called? Dreamcast over analog, you know, 480i. 480i with S Video, and it, it looks really good. But, I mean, nothing really beats having this huge 36 inch beast to sit back 10 feet away with a wireless controller and have it turned up really, really loud and to be able to enjoy the game. Just beautiful. No, I ain't got no music. Let me see why I ain't got no music. Y'all I want music? <laughs> Let me pause it real quick and see. Now we got sound and music and everything, y'all. Sorry about that. PlayStation 2 was a beast. It was designed specifically for CRT TVs. If you got a PlayStation 2, you have to get a CRT TV. Oh, I'm sorry. All those upscalers, nah, 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 nah. I know you see this in 4K. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'll be the AAA dude. All right. All right, let's check out another game. Or should I do one more run with the outrun? Let's do one more run with the outrun, y'all. Remember low times. Race for the top position.
All right, let me show you some gameplay from the VGA monitor. It's great, it's very beautiful, but compared to this huge girl, I really prefer the Matushiwa. I can't say it enough, y'all, I really can't. All right, let's exit. All right, y'all, you're gonna trip out on this game. It's called Stirwind, all right? I think it came out in 2008 for the Sega Dreamcast, something like that. This game is just a beautiful, beautiful game. Great music. So I'm gonna turn it up. This is just a demo for right now. But this is my favorite way to play the Sega Dreamcast. And you're like, really? You, you, you still pick the Toshiba over this? Uh, Dreamcast stays here. Everything else is Toshiba. Let's turn this volume up and check out this gameplay. Got Ninja Turtles running in the background still. And um, for my Sega Dreamcast, I'm using the Striker DC wired controller, okay? And I did pre order the uh, wireless one, so I'm kind of waiting for that. But for now, we're using the original.
yeah. That is a beautiful, beautiful game, y'all. All right, let's show you some gameplay from what the Nintendo looked like on this other Panasonic. And that way, y'all can be like, well, I want to play it this other way. So, at least, at least y'all get a good, um, fair opinion of each set. All right, let's check it out. All right, y'all. So, finally, last TV I'm going to show you some gameplay is from is my Panasonic. It's a beautiful little 20 inch. It was a cheap TV back in the day that uh, it had the VCR built in, and that was really, really cool to see back in the day. It really was, and it's still cool to this day. I love it. But uh, yeah, it, it plays Nintendo games really, really beautifully. It has a mono speaker, but yeah, let me adjust these lights, and you're gonna see just how beautiful this game actually looks on here. You'd be amazed. It's just composite from Nintendo, the Factory Fat Boy right there on top so yeah let's set this camera up and uh do some gameplay all right y'all this is the best that i can get it let's do warrior baby this game was cool because you had to uh push a and b to jump and then the direction that you're facing you had to push either a to punch B to kick behind you, and when you're facing this way, you had to push B to punch, A to kick. You know what? Let me adjust this camera one last time, y'all. Sorry about this. All right, this looks way better now. Look at that screen tearing. Famous with the Nintendo. Try to do the special move. There you go. Tiger kick. You gotta hit A and B to jump and then hit it in the air. There it goes. Up. Yeah, up and and B and A. So B and A together to jump. And then when once you're in the air, push up and B and A and you do that. <laughs> well not that. Oh man, I forgot. You can actually grab them. Let's see if I can do it. And hold them. Let's see if I can get it done. Let's see if I can do it. No, that's the uppercut. I love it that you can pick that as up. Take it back, baby. Take that if you want to run. Where am I supposed to go? Pipe, baby, look at the pipe. Just mess them up. <laughs> I remember me and my brother playing this game. And we just mess each other up because you could put it on a uh, two player A or B, I mean, where you, where you could take damage from each other. Oh man, we sit there and argue. My brother would just laugh. My friend Jesse Garcia in the background would be laughing. Los Garcias. Back in the day, he was so hard to beat. Look, I just beat him that quick, y'all. That quick. All right, let's check out one more Nintendo game on this beautiful little Panasonic TV, man. It's 20 inch VCR built in, so I can still watch my Ninja Turtles. But let's play one more other game. Know this game. Oh, sorry.
<laughs> a great Nintendo sound, huh? Yeah, I love that audio. back and forth. Alright. And with that, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all go because I love all my, my monitors and TVs and everything. Each one has its benefits. The size, the weight, the ease of movement. But in the end, I love my Toshiba. It's a huge, beautiful girl that provides hours of gameplay for me and I'm so happy that I have her so if you're lucky enough to have a TV that huge enjoy it play it use it all the time and don't worry about it breaking who cares if it breaks well it breaks you still got a lot of gameplay from it before it did so until next time y'all peace and much love from Joe's Retro World